currently I am putting the head nuts on here. As you can see, I got the head on. Uh, there's new metal gasket there. I always use a new one. And there's another P word of up written here. And you can read up on your gasket there, just like you can read up on the other gasket, which is now covered. Um, cylinder, obviously you got your intake side, you got your exhaust side, you know it goes that way. Make sure you pull your timing chain through, and your timing chain guide is in there. And then you put in your other guide, like that one. Keep that out of there. The nuts are these long taper ones with a 6mm on them. And they thread on the studs, you use engine oil on the studs. These get torqued to 25 to 5 foot-pounds in a proper sequence. Uh, look up the numbered sequence in the FSM. Make sure you do it the right way. And it also says do it in stages, so half of it. So maybe do 15 first time around, then come back and then do the 25. These things, if any of these got chewed up, as some of mine did, buy new ones. Don't take a chance. Uh, they are kind of an expensive nut when you think about it. I think they're about $3 per. I had to buy five new ones. Uh, because they were starting to round, so if you have any issues, make sure you replace them with new ones. I'd also like to note that there are washers underneath these special bolts. Um, I wasn't aware of that first time, and all my washers stayed inside the cylinder head. And then when I slid the cylinder head on, I saw them get pushed up slightly by the rods, because they caught on the threads and pushed them, so then I seated them back down here with a pick. So be aware that they're supposed to be there. And remember that, maybe first time you take it apart, if you're missing any or something, go with it. Okay, just got the cams installed. It was kind of tricky. I don't know why I didn't have a video of it, but there's not much to see. So we hold the chain up, slide in the exhaust cam first, get a set, and then you slide in the intake cam first, and you do your best to try and get it aligned. You can cheat it slightly, and you can get the exhaust set up as best you can, keep tension on the chain, and then try and fiddle with that while trying to maintain your alignment down on the lower timing mark. Uh, it took five tries, five attempts to figure this out, make it work for me. Uh, ultimately though I got it, and then after you get it set up you want to turn the crank over several times, make sure nothing hits, and then check your alignment marks again, make sure they're still true. Make sure you have the front uh, timing guide installed here. Uh, and then when you tighten these, you just go in the crisscross pattern, like quarter to half turn at a time, even until they're all sucked down evenly. And then these are torqued to 7.2 foot-pounds, very important you don't over torque these, so a quarter inch torque wrench is a good idea. Uh, and then make sure, now I'm putting in the tensioner, you want to check it with the tensioner, I feel, before you button everything up completely, of course, to make sure it doesn't shift your alignment marks too much on the tensioner. Probably have to use a new gasket. Uh, there's an up mark on the case. As you might recall from disassembly, keep the up and the up. Uh, the springs, there's actually two springs. There's an inner spring and an outer spring. Make sure they're both in there. So you don't lose them. And then install into the back of the case. The tensioner and hold down bolts are five. <coughs> Excuse me, 7.2 foot pounds. On the other side, and then the center one, which has install your springs, and then this bolt here has a copper washer. Make sure you have that. And this is torqued to fourteen one four foot pounds. Uh, then install the upper tensioner chain guide. Uh, Seven point two foot pounds on those same bolts, crisscross pattern. Now it's valve cover time. Nope, it only fits one way. This is the wrong way. So the dent part goes towards the front. I'm trying to reuse my valve cover gasket, so I'm going to be extra gentle with it. Make sure that the caps go into the grooves that they belong to. And then you will uh, gradually seat this thing down. I'm not tightening mine right now because I'm going to take this off when I get it back in the bike. Uh, I'm going to crank it without fuel if oil will prime up there. But I will install my bolts just loose, tight cinched to cover this up so stuff doesn't fall in it.